Hi, and welcome to the 100th episode of Still Hopes in Five. It is Monday, January the 18th, and I am Stephanie Parker, Still Hopes Director of Public Relations. As promised, this episode will be different than our usual episode because we will be doing a behind the scenes look at our new Hopewell apartment building with Still Hopes CEO, Danny Sanford. Danny will walk us through some of the common areas in the new building along with one of the new apartments. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. We're standing today inside the Hopewell building. We are at the edge of Emily's Cafe, which spans that way. Uh, Emily's Cafe, obviously no furniture here yet, but it's about a 60 seat dining venue uh, with a servery back at the back side. Uh, if you look right around this way, that would be how you come from the north end of Main Street to come into uh, the Hopewell building. And if you look straight down this way, you're looking right toward the Wellness Center, and that will be the entrance of how you go straight down there. Those doors that are closed now will be on hold opens. Those are fire doors, but they'll stay open all the time, so they won't be in your way. You just walk down the hall uh, to get to that building. So now we're going to walk further into the Hopewell building, and you'll remember that uh, this way is the main campus and the rest of the campus. And the Hopewell building, of course, is the other direction. What you just saw a picture of was the outdoor courtyard that's part of the dining venue. So we'll come this way. And this is the wellness dining, our living room that, that we prepared for folks to, to hang out in, to have a place to, to gather as they're headed to or from the wellness center. It has a nice fireplace. It's not all in place yet, but it's the long skinny black part you see over there will be the fireplace. We'll have a television above. You can see the bracket for the television there. And of course, living room furniture out here in the middle. If you look straight across where this lady is going in the yellow jacket, she's headed into where the elevators are and where the apartments are. If you look down this way, again, that's that hallway that goes down to the wellness center that we saw from just around the corner. Oh, before we go too far, let's look down this hall. This is, the, uh, this is the artist hallway that's been constructed specifically for the art shows that come to Still Hope. So you can see that we've put in special lighting uh, and special hangers uh, all through this area. So we've got a system installed for us to run the art shows from going forward. Now we're really over into the apartment part of the building and to my right is the, uh, the mail room where the folks who live here will pick up their U.S. mail and their in-house mail. And these are the elevators that they would take uh, to go if they don't live on the first floor and they were here, this is the elevators they would take to go up. These are also the elevators that go down to the parking garage. From here, we're looking at the parking garage uh, for this building. This is a parking garage that will have enough parking spaces for all of the residents to park uh, their, their first automobiles. Directly this way is their way into the elevator lobby where they would go up to their apartment building. So now we brought you all the way up to the fifth floor and we're standing on the southeast corner balcony on the fifth floor of the new Hopewell building. This is one of the two bedroom apartments and you can see across my shoulder and back that way that you can see the city skyline from the top floor and obviously you can see lots of other buildings as you panned around. Let's take you inside where it's a little warmer. All the apartments in Hopewell have a very open floor plan. So you're looking now at this corner unit and you can see obviously the kitchen. You can see that the ceilings are all 10 feet tall. The windows are all eight feet, or the doors rather are all eight feet. You can see we got storefront, floor to window, uh, floor to ceiling windows in the uh, living room, great room area. Take you over to the master bedroom and let you see what that looks like.
This is the master bedroom, which has a view on an unrainy day. Today we've got rain splattered against the screen, so you have a little bit of an impeded view, but that's looking uh, to the south toward the rest of the campus. So from here I can see apartment building, the Trinity building, the Evergreen building. I can see uh, the McDowell building and the mansion and the chapel. And here's the master bath. So the folks who bought this particular unit asked for this sink to be removed. This is normally a two bowl sink with two, two vanity setups. Got a zero threshold shower here uh, that lets them walk right in and walk right out. Got a linen closet here. And then they have the walk-in closet for their clothes with a closet system designed to let them adjust the shelves and rods as they see fit. Quickly show you the second bedroom and the laundry room. Here's that second bedroom. And you'll see that it also has a walk-in closet. The second bathroom in this apartment is located out in the hall, which gives your guests the ability to come and visit with you and use the restroom without going through one of your bedrooms. And the laundry room is tucked away back here in the corner is right here. So you've just taken a look at one of the uh, many floor plans here in the Hopewell building. It has 80 apartments in total. There are only four one bedroom apartments in the building. The rest are two bedrooms, but there are several floor plans. What I've shown you is one of the larger of the floor plans. So hope you've enjoyed that little tour and thank you for coming. And there you go. There's a look at the inside of our new Hopewell apartment building. The building has an estimated move-in date of February the 15th, and not everyone will be moving in at once. We will have a staggered move-in schedule that will stretch over at least a few months, if not more. So again, that estimated move-in date for the first person to move into the Hopewell apartment building is on February the 15th of this year. So thank you so much for joining me today for this special episode of Still Hopes in 5, and I look forward to seeing you right back here next week.